I think that people should know before they hear it more about the process so that they can appreciate it more and know that it was made by a bunch of students and they worked really hard on it. All right, guys, so today we're going to be writing some music, as you probably all well know, right? So we're going to be collaborating on a piece. In preparation of this piece, Mr. Hudek, Mr. Gonzalez, and I designed a progressional unit plan around a series of exercises consisting of very short musical excerpts called chunks. In the beginning of writing the last thread, I definitely thought it was going to be all up to the band teachers and Dr. Taylor, but that's definitely not what happened. So for our last thread piece, the composer, Dr. Taylor, came in and taught our 8th grade class about the techniques of music composition. I have never done something quite like this before. This was a, was a true collaboration in every sense of the word. We actually got to play with some programs with composition. We decided to utilize the program, No Flight, to capture the compositional ideas of our 8th grade band students. The piece started out with us looking at different inspiration photos. This is what the piece would be based off of. Our class chose a photo of a rope cut in half that was just connected by one thread. Hence why this piece is called The Last Thread. I'm asking each of you try to come up with at least 10 words. Go. From there, we made our own miniature compositions using things that we were inspired from this picture. It was really cool making this piece because we got to put our specific insight into it. We soon began to develop more and more ideas that were more abstract and more unique. And this, the piece eventually developed into something like a Frankenstein. When Dr. Taylor first emailed us the final copy of The Last Thread, all three teachers, we looked at it and we kind of had the same reaction the students had. I honestly thought this piece was going to be a hot mess at first because it's you play when you want to, you stop playing when you want to, and when you stop playing, you have to clap. This was not like your standard piece of sheet music. It was so different. This format, nobody had ever seen it. So this was a very unique piece. And when we started to play, it was pure chaos. Nobody knew what rhythm to play, what part to play. We were confused at first because this is the first time we'd ever seen a piece like this. Uh, and we just wanted to make sure we had a good understanding of how this piece should flow. Uh, we wanted to make sure we could teach it well. Uh, so one of the things we did to make sure we had our heads wrapped around it is play sort of a pared down version of what it was supposed to be. Uh, and it was just the band teachers playing uh, multiple parts. To have them writing melodies, constructing the shape of the piece together. I mean, honestly, they came up with most of these ideas that ended up into this piece. I just kind of had to polish and refine them uh, to, to be at the state that they are. This made it so, so unique. I, I mean, I don't think I would have written something like this had we not collaborated in this way. It's very unconventional and it's not gonna sound like an average piece. It can never be played the same way twice. The different chunks can be rearranged and it's up to the student to decide when to play or when to stop playing. It's as if it's like a, it's like a tree branch. It's branching out into multiple different uh, little short sections of music that, you, that the musician has total has the total um, power in choosing what they play in at the moment. And this piece has been a lot more unique because every time we play it, it's going to end up as a different result, and that was really cool. It was quite a learning process, and I know I speak for all the band directors when I say that the students taught us just as much as we taught them on using the program. And it's, it's really neat. I think it will be a really valuable addition to the repertoire, and others, other groups are certainly going to enjoy it as well. Through this exercise, I think we learned how music doesn't just have to be linear and straightforward. It can also be improvised and dynamic. Uh, I, overall, I think the project is pretty cool. Whoever's watching, is, you're definitely going to enjoy the last thread.